Let's talk about mounts, boys. Let's talk about mounts, because there was a lot revealed with the mounts. We have 600. Sorry, I can't read numbers. 464 mounts will be able to dragon ride. Yeah, be able to drag it. That's wild. Four, that's crazy how many they've done. So let's see some of these animations. They have. So this is what the horses are going to look like dragon riding. Hold on, let me pause this. 1080p. Let's see what the horse animations are going to look like. So this is invincible. Okay, so hopping around. Oh, look at the charge. Does he do the twirl? I want to see the twirl. The charge doesn't look bad. I want to see the barrel roll. Let's see the barrel roll if he does it. It doesn't look too bad. He's, you know, he's galloping through the air. Okay, okay. It, it does look, you know, well animated. I think they did show the barrel roll for the horse in the, uh, in the BlizzCon footage of Invincible. But I, I do like how it kind of varies. Okay, and there's the standstill. Interesting. Does he do a barrel roll? I think he's going to. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It, it looks, um, the parts where he kind of straightens out does look a little bit janky. But overall, I mean, in terms of a horse dragon riding, that's probably as good as it's going to get. What's this one here? Oh, what? They got a seed pod dragon riding? We got... <laughs> How does this look? Okay. <laughs> that looks fucking janky. That looks funny. I'm not going to lie. I mean, how could you animate it? This, you know what this looks like? You know when it's like Friday at like 3 p.m. and you want to finish work early and you got that last email you got to send out and you're like, eh, should I wait till after the weekend to send this or should I just send it now? And you don't proofread it or shit, you just send it out. You're like, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to send it. I don't want to deal with this anymore. This is when you come back on Monday and you're like, fuck, I should have sent that email. It's clearly unfinished. That's what it looks like here. It looks like the devs were doing this like a Friday afternoon and they were like, yeah, we're done. We're done. We're just going to make this pod look like it's flying really fast with some lines on the screen. That's about it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how animated you can make a pod look. It's literally just a pod, but uh, there it is. So we have the dragon riding, you know, animations. Those are coming. We know that 400, uh, 664 mounts have been animated, and that number is going to continue to grow. They keep doing more and more of them. That's really cool. We Okay, we have this. Yeah, so let's check out this video. This shows more dynamic flying. Let's see this. Get ready for a new era of flight. Formerly known as dragon riding, dynamic flight brings the newest, fastest, most active way to travel to old zones. It's awesome new. that they redid the some of these mounts campaign for this. Through Endgame on hundreds of your favorite flying mounts. Let's explore everything you need to know about dynamic flight in the war within. All right. Cool. World of Warcraft Dragonflight introduced adventurers to a completely new way of traversing Azeroth called dragon riding. Probably this the best faster, feature they introduced in Dragonflight, honestly. Flight flight reinvented how heroes explored the Dragon Isles. Dragon riding made flying an active experience, allowing players to ascend, surge, break, and whirl through the landscape at breakneck speeds on customizable mounts. Players took to the skies in the open world, dungeons, and the final raid as well as push their limits in race courses throughout the world. I love dragon riding racing. Such a good feature. In the War Within, dynamic flight is being improved and expanded upon, keeping core elements like vigor-based abilities in place while granting players earlier access, more mounts to <coughs> choose from, more courses to oh, race wow, look on, at the animations on, and the, the ability to toggle between dynamic and traditional flight modes. Nice. As early as level 15, or even earlier if you're a Drakthir, characters will be able to learn dynamic flying. Wow, Allowing level 15, what the hell? So if you're a new character coming to the game, level 15, you're going to get dynamic flight. Remember, we had to wait till level 60 to get your epic ground mount? Man, wow, you're going to be new champions to level up so older quickly. Zones and experience leveling like never before. That's right, we're getting, I'm going to talk about that. Dynamic flight Druid. skills will be earned as a part of leveling up, allowing players to fill out the skill tree as they progress. For players coming into the war within at level 70, Dynamic flight will be available early oh, in the Oh my god, that looks so cool. Like Gmod and stuff are getting these animations. Of Dorn. And upon unlocking, flying mounts will be equipped with all their talents. This That's means awesome. that finding glyphs will not be tied to dynamic flight progression. But for Mavericks so who enjoy for? the thrill of the hunt, glyphs okay. and the Dragon Isles will remain in place purely for achievement. So it's just an achievement hunt now. I like glyphs, they're cool. It's a very cool way to explore the Dragon Isles early on, and I'll, I'll probably go for that achievement. That's cool. If, however, you prefer the more passive style of flying introduced in Burning Crusade, 
you can toggle between dynamic flight and traditional flight modes. In previously existing zones, the ability to switch will be available immediately at launch. Nice. And in Kazalgar, switching becomes available after leveling through and exploring the new lands thoroughly. At the War Within's launch, over 440 mounts will be converted to enable Holy. dynamic flight. With 464, more than 200 unique to be exact. That's what the WoW article said. The article. And over 50 fundamentally different shapes and sizes, conversion has been a significant undertaking that the allows rocket. you to once again show off the shining star. Oh, damn, star. that looked really cool. I was wondering how the Gmod-style mounts are going to look when they do the, uh, the barrel roll. That looked awesome. Once again, show off the shining stars nice. of your collection. Favorites like Ashes of Alar, Invincible, Gmod, yeah. the Sandstone Drake, and the Hive Mind will all be capable Holy of dynamic. Holy crap! That was amazing. What a cool animation! That barrel roll on this—that makes this mount so much cooler. It honestly reminds me of the SpongeBob uh, Jellyfish Party too. If you just keep doing that, Hive Mind will all be capable wow. of dynamic flight. That's a great animation. With all your old favorites available, there will be no shortage of mounts to tout. But two special mounts are worth seeking out as well. The Delver's Dirigible, earnable so for the cool. all-new Delves feature, is a cosmetically so cool. mega-customizable mount with color, nose, wings, thrusters, top, and even decal options that continue to expand as you progress. The this is such a cool feature that'll keep Delves relevant for a long time because if they continue to add customization options to this, this will be a fun thing just to do in passing. Like, you want to customize your mount, go get some more. The Algarian Storm Rider is one of a kind featuring a unique vigor bar in its user interface. It also comes with a special ability called Lightning Rush, which can give you a boost of speed without spending vigor by expending static charges that accumulate when flying near walls. Lightning Rush is expanding to other mounts starting in the War Within, nice. allowing everyone to both zip and zap around. Racing will also continue to push pilots to the peak of their capabilities. New courses will be available in each new zone, offering a brand new circuit of achievements and an exciting way to explore various landmarks and landscapes love, I love these throughout features. Kazalgar. Are you ready for a whole new era of dynamic flight? Mount up and actively soar through Kazalgar and beyond in the War Within. Very cool. This was a very, very cool uh, uh, addition. I love... I love dragon riding. I love what they've done with dynamic flight. Dynamic flight in general has been a great addition to the game. And yes, if you didn't catch it there, just for a second they showed it, druids are getting dynamic flight. Yeah, their flight form is going fully dynamic, which is awesome for them. We know that Drakthia recently got it, and now druids are going to have it. I mean, as if playing a druid wasn't already cool. And now you're getting dynamic flight on your flying mount. And the animations look great. I have to say, watching that video just now, all the animations look really, really cool. The hive mind one blew my freaking mind. Yeah, but look at that. I mean, flying around as a druid, you can really live out that fantasy now of like being a bird transformed to just flying around a city. These animations all look really, really good. So happy for the druids that they're getting that. And last but not least, let's check out some of the mount models that we're getting here in the next expansion. So uh, it looks like the Algarian, Algarian Storm Rider is getting a bunch of more customizations, or these mounts are going to be available separately. But they definitely take inspiration from the uh, from the Storm Rider mount, the Mole Rat mount. What the hell is this? This looks great. The <laughs> the candles. I'm guessing this is related to the Cobalts in some way. Imagine Cobalts become playable and this was their racial mount. I swear to God, it'd break the game, man. There's a lot of variation between some of these. Look at the different noses. I'm I'm noticing that these are not just different colorways. There's, like, uh, varying styles to them. Oh, look at that. It looks like... Yeah, this is cool. I wonder if this is going to be customizable. This is an interesting one. Because of all the different changes between some of them. So that's cool. The fire bee. Oh, wow. Got a fiery-looking bee mount. Not bad. Now the bees can land, too. That was a different thing. Better get play playable Vrykul before Cobalt's. <laughs> I do think there would be some people angry that we haven't that we haven't gotten other races, but we got Cobalts instead. Yeah, that would be an interesting take. We got the Spider Boy mounts. Uh, that's fine. We've seen stuff like that. We looked at this one already. This is the Paladin mount for the Earthen. Um, the Earthen Ram. Oh, okay. So this is going to be their racial mount. Oh, I like this. The Grassy Boy Ram. That looks pretty cool. With it's not just they could have just went with a fully stoned out uh, ram, but this one actually is cool. It has some plants growing on it. Ooh. 
So is this the difference between the epic and the regular? So this is the regular one and the epic's horns curve around more? Damn, those are some giant horns. I love the moss growing on the horns right here. This looks really, really cool. They did a good job with these mounts. And there's a lot of color variation to them. Damn, there's a ton of choices. What the hell? What? There's even more. Okay, we can go from this curved mount to the fully horned out mount. Damn. You can curve these horns all the way in. Holy crap. Okay. So there's three different mount variations to these. Wow, look how... Oh my god. That is wild to look at from the front. Those are some big horns. That's a horny goat right there. Uh, the earthen horse. Oh, so they have a horse too. So I'm guessing this will not just be a racial mount. These will be available for people to pick up. So this is a pretty cool... Uh, some pretty cool mounts here. Let's see what else we got. The firefly. Okay. Another little bug mount with the, the glowing ass. Yeah, oh, what is this? We're going back to Shadowlands? We got a shadowed element here. Interesting. Oh, and a voidy version of it. Okay. Okay, yeah, this reminds me of the Mythic Keystone mount, uh, mounts that we got from Shadowlands back in the day. Yeah. Good morning. What's up, Achilles? How's it going? Uh, skidded beetle. Okay, we got some beetle mounts. This beetle mount actually kind of looks cool with the big frontal claws and stuff. Interesting, a ton of colors. The, the unicorn. Wow. This is like a very masculine looking unicorn. It's a buff. It's a Giga Chad unicorn. Looks buffed out. This actually looks like a pretty cool unicorn mount. What else we got? More fire bugs here. Different fire bug. A gargoyle. Oh man, that looks good. I like it. Oh, and then we got like a Nerubian style gargoyle mount. Wow, with the webs holding the saddle down. That's really, really cool. I like that. That's a cool looking mount. I, I want this one for sure. This Nerubian one is pretty cool. Gorms? What is this? A wormy mount? Okay. Nice, nice looking worm. Oh, it's not really a worm. It does have legs, actually. I thought it was scooting on its uh, bottom. No, it does have legs. Okay, a flesher bug. Interesting, okay. Some more bug. There's a lot of bug mounts, which makes sense. I mean, we're going to see the Nerubians. Vicious. We have the vicious war mount? Oh. Okay, so we got... It's a bug. We got the Alliance and the Horde versions. Not bad. Not bad. I'm not the biggest fan of the bug mounts. Uh, but the vis those, are the, those are the vicious mounts. We got a boat? What the hell? There's no way this is done. This is so plain. What is this? Just a piece of wood with rope ta taped around it? Yeah. It's funny because crab crabs are related to spiders. Yeah, the crab change is pretty funny. I, I do agree. Oh, a lynx. Wow. I like this one. I'm always down for more saber mounts. I, I always liked uh, the night saber style of mounts. This is cool. We got oh, It's got a shorter stubby tail and the pointy ears like a sphinx. That's pretty cool. Yeah, a bunch of colorway. Damn, this one looks really cool. The blacked out one. I like it. So those are all the mounts coming in the War Within. We got a ton of dynamic flying, ton of stuff, really cool mounts coming. Um, all in all, I mean, I think the biggest W is the hive mind animation, if I'm being completely honest. That thing was really, really cool.